I found some trees. We could start we could start off in here. Hey guys, how's it going? Will here and today we are going to be talking about the Mavic Air. So a few of you may remember about five months ago when I actually picked up the Mavic Air. In that time I've got to know it. I know what I like, what I don't like. So we're gonna answer, do I regret buying the DJI Mavic Air in 2019? Let's go. So first, let's talk about what I love about the drone. The first thing is the size. The Mavic Air is actually in my camera bag that I have on my back now. When I had the Phantom 3, I would have to lug around this huge, heavy cardboard box, and that might not seem like initially a really big deal, but when I was shooting that 300 miles for one drone shot video uh, up there, I really felt the weight of that. So the size, big plus for me. So the second thing I love about the Mavic Air is the higher bitrate. It's 100 versus 60 on my old drone. And this actually makes a huge difference when it comes to color grading. I can pull back a lot more detail. The highlight recovery is far superior. And overall, I get a better experience color grading the Mavic Air footage. The higher bitrate also means that I'm more confident shooting in flatter profiles. So I do get more dynamic range at my drone. And I know that I am gonna get less blocky distortion. As of now, we're gonna head back to the West Midlands and fly the drone. Okay, so now let's talk about what I don't like about the drone, but let's let's do it somewhere else. Let's Oh, I love gorilla pods. They're just great, aren't they? They are just fantastic. Ooh, ooh, shit. Ah. Oh no. I slipped and dropped the camera. I think everything works though. Okay, so this video has not gone to waste. I'm just gonna check the SD card. Oh dear. It's like these arches of leaves. Pretty cool. Okay, so I carried on walking and I found all of these bluebells. Like, look at that. The entire hill is like covered in these things. There's also a stone obelisk right there. Right there. I don't know what it's for, but I'll go home and I'll stick it on the screen now. In fact, let's talk about what I don't like about the drone and fly it here, because it's just, just amazing. There is a tree that we can sit in. Hold on, uh, how am I gonna do this? Okay, I can stick that there. Okay, sort of. ah. I'm sat in a tree. So now we're gonna talk about the things that I don't particularly like about this drone, and don't get me wrong, there are some. First of all is the connection. Now this is a Wi-Fi connection. It is much better than the Phantom 3's Wi-Fi connection. However, it's just not up to standard with OcuSync, and I can fly it about two kilometers with no problems, but it's just it's just not in the same league as OcuSync. I know that when I'm flying an OcuSync drone, it will always come back to me. I don't really have that exact confidence with the Wi-Fi drones. I know that the advanced Wi-Fi on the Mavic Air works wonderfully, but a Wi-Fi signal just isn't in the same league as a radio signal. Now, my next problem with this drone is the battery life. I get about 20 minutes, which is about five minutes less than it was with my Phantom 3. And remember in my return video, that one there. Well, I actually only bought one battery and I did manage to get three flights out of it, but by the end of the day, I was definitely cycling through my batteries. That said, batteries are both lighter and cheaper on the Mavic Air than they were with the Phantom, so I guess that's another positive. Just something to bear in mind, really. Okay, let's leave this tree, go fly some more. This is gonna be, whoa, pretty, pretty slippery. Oh. There we go. This is what I was talking about earlier. Look at how small that is. It actually fits in this pocket in my camera bag and my iPad's where my camera would usually be. And I have this bonus pocket for the controller so nothing is actually left out. I can fit the whole drone package in my fairly small camera bag. Ugh. screws this is another thing I forgot to mention but this right here it, I know it's been talked to death about and I actually mentioned it in my other video but these are genuinely so useful I was expecting to lose these but because they're stored inside the controller because they're stored inside the controller I still haven't lost them and this is an amazing feature that it's just awesome it saves so much space and they're still not lost phone plugs in and ready to go okay the drone is completely set up in fact 
let's get this started with the signature move. If you're new around here, I basically start off all my drone sequences like this. Okay, so I'm at the obelisk now, and look at how massive this thing is. That's huge. I'm gonna go stand next to it. Okay, I am at the base of it now. That is the view from where I'm standing. This lens is 17 millimeters. We're gonna walk in that direction there until the whole obelisk is in this frame. Okay, one, two, three, four, 14, 15, 16, 17, 57, 58, 59, 60. I suppose if I hold it like that, we can get the whole thing in frame. So 60 steps. Hopefully that shows you how massive this obelisk is. Let's get back to the drone shots. See, this is another feature that I love about the Mavic Air. Here's to doing this right on the first attempt. There we go. I can also pack this thing away super quickly. Literally, all I gotta do is fold these down, turn it off, fold these inward. This is very hard to do with one hand, by the way. Then we just take it, we stick it in the bag, we zip it up, and then we just toss it in the bag. Done. Okay, so so far this has been a very challenging video for me to make. I've had no control over the lighting, it's been all over the place. I'm gonna probably do some like dreamy color grading to try to fix it, but uh, chances are some of it's gonna be overexposed and slash or underexposed. This is some old water. This is real natural spring water and they tell you not to drink it, but everybody does. Just... That is the purest water. That is some of the purest water in the entire country. As it turns out, this is the water that the queen drinks. The queen drinks Malvern water. So this is, this is exactly the same water that the queen drinks. Remember this place? I made a bad vlog here, there. We went to a gold mine and didn't find one. It had been abandoned for like 500 years. Didn't stop me from keeping that as the title of the video though, so... Yeah, you should go watch it. So, do I regret buying the Mavic Air in 2019? Well, no. For me personally, the benefits far outweigh the cons and I'm really looking forward to shooting with this drone more in the summertime. So, to close this video off, instead of having another drone sequence, because that's getting a bit samey, even though it's a video about drones. Let's do something else. In fact, let's go bowling. Not sure yet. Well, that's my opinion on it. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video. If you want to see more content like this, then smash the subscribe button. I'm done for now, and I am actually gonna go bowling. Let's go. Okay, so I won the bowling, but I, uh, I lost the Mario Kart. I won by a mile, though. Bowling champion! I'll see you guys in the next video, for real this time.